Welcome, everybody. Let us know where you're joining us from. We're going to do this one more time just because we fly a bucket over here. <laughs> If you know what you can go in, forget if you know it. If you know it, sing with me. Hey, you Dillis, how are you? Hey there, Maple Central Times. Hey. Okay. 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 <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to Life Forum. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. 
Mm-hmm. This is my partner tonight. I am, I'm trying, I was, I was feeling real strong about um, expanding our conversation or our ministry from Sunday. Um, and, you know, when I get those feelings, I say, okay, I'm going to give everybody a break. And then uh, I'm going to give everybody a break so that I'll do the heavy lifting tonight as it relates to the teaching. And then I was walking around this house and asked him if he wanted to join. So if if the other lady see he is on here, it's because at the last minute I asked him <laughs> if he would join me for this. Welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you are joining us on Facebook. Welcome to all of you, Lady Dixon. We see you. Hello, Apocalypse, hello. Hope, always love to have you. Um, uh, let's see who else. Yes, Tramika Garner. God bless you. Welcome. 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 We got some of you on YouTube. We are finally figuring this out, yeah. right? Yeah. Right. And so we said we wasn't going to be on Facebook. And then my husband came back and said, well, let's try to do all of them at the same time. And maybe something will open up. <laughs> and hey, I recognize. Hey, Angelina Squire, how are you? Yes. Yeah. Um, you got a same word here. Nobody can see it, babe. Um, something opened up in the setting. And so um, I'm thinking that we might have a better time with being able to share it. People can find it, stuff like that. So. Listen, I'm not going to be stuck on it. I'm going to do what I believe that we're supposed to do tonight. So welcome all of you. It is um, Tuesday night and Mm -hmm. Tuesday night is for life. Our other partner is on here. Our other life farmer. Um, I was going to say Apostle Bernicia. And she is going to be like, Lady Ma'am, what is wrong with you? Right. Oh, Oh, no. no. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, ma'am. I sure was going to say it. It was a blend of words. Oh, man. Yeah, she's on here. And so hopefully she'll hang out and um, pipe in when it's time to facilitate questions, conversations, and communication because it's easy to just tag her in Mm -hmm. because we can easily change her setting. And to all of the rest of you, we're going to ask that you would use your fingers and we're going to figure out a way to get people, other people on Mm -hmm. screen too, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to work that out. We just got some things to work out, but while I'm on break, I want to um, make sure that everybody gets to do what they need to do as well. While, because they cover for me, mm-hmm. they the 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 former the forumers that's what I call them. <laughs> the other partners they cover for me while I'm in school and I have to focus and I can't get on on Tuesdays. And so I definitely wanted to return the favor. But this one right here, he probably didn't have no choice, and he too knows you to stay out the mix. So he is here. Welcome, welcome. You want to do your announcements and tendencies and all oh. that. <laughs> hey, welcome guys. Welcome to um live forum um that we have every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. If you can do us a big favor, um if you're on, can you please do us a favor like and share on if you're on the Facebook side, um please like and please share. Um why why do we do that? Because that helps our algorithms. Um if you enjoy what you're watching, if you enjoy what's being shared, then um then you liking and you sharing the content helps us to get the word out and allows us to um more people to see us um as you're seeing us right now. If you're on YouTube, um please like and share as well and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, and then you make sure uh, once you um, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click that bell on the right side and it will notify you whenever we are live. You are really getting good at this marketing space. Like you sound just like Kayla. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe right? <laughs> Remember when she was in that series? Yes. Yes. And she was just repeating that for the longest time. So, yes. Right. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. So please do everything that he has asked. Listen, if you were on early enough in order to get the announcements, of course, we are always praying for you. If you have prayer requests, you can always get connected to our website, send a message. If you have the business line number directly, you can always send a message for prayer. We are praying with you. We are praying um, with you and partnering with you if you will allow us to. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, if you are struggling in areas of mental health and, and challenges there, let us know as well. We can refer you. We can work with you. We can do some of those spaces. And if you are interested in doing some things regarding um, creative arts and theater and all of those other spaces that come with that, we can help with that too. So 
our mantra is, is that we, we expand, we explore and we evolve, right? We explore, we expand mm -hmm. and we evolve. That is the Evolution Church SoFlo located here in um, the wonderful South Florida homestead, right? And so we just had a wonderful fourth, fourth Sunday fellowship. Yes. Did you love it? Yeah, it was great. I it really was, like the intimate yeah. space that um, gets created there. And for individuals, if you have not been in a, on any of our services, you are welcome to do that too. Second Sundays, we have services, fellowships, community opportunities twice a month. Second Sunday, we have it, and that is virtually. And then fourth Sunday, we have it, and it is specifically in person. So you get the opportunity to choose. We do not have service every Sunday. That is intentional. We do share life forum every Tuesday as much as we are able and as much as we can. So you can join us at any of those spaces. If you have not already signed up to receive text messages and notifications so that you can be informed on what's going on up front. So we do have a texting subscriber base. All of that information is in the announcement. So if you were here early enough, you could see it. And some of you are here as a result of seeing it already. So welcome and thank you for joining us. All right. Mm -hmm. Yes. Listen, tonight, as a result of that Sunday space, I, I feel like I've been sitting in this chair all day. I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I've been hearing pieces of information just all day. And I love what I do. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes I need to give myself a pause so that I'll stop hearing those conversations in my brain just recycling. So um, Sunday, we had this conversation around the power of balance. And that thing, it blessed me and it's still blessing me. And I said to myself, I wanted to put some notes together in order to give some more opportunity for that conversation to continue. So I have notes today and I'm going to be putting up some slides so that you can see it, ask questions, visualize what has taken place, what's going on. Mm -hmm. You can engage the chat. You can stop us in some space. If Let your fingers do your talking today and let us hear from you as it relates to that. Um, but before we hit that space, just want to make sure that my beloved husband over here does not have a life thought that he wants to share before we get engaged in that. Do I have a life thought to share? Mm -hmm. um, I always have a life thought to share because I'm always getting, you know, you, you always got to get some out of life, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I do have a life. I do have a life thought to share. Um I think um no, I really don't have like those. You yeah, you have you said you always do, and then you said no. Like, ah, ah. <laughs> y'all saw all of that, right? I just want to make sure that y'all saw it. Okay. I think okay, okay. I think um what what I do know is is um <laughs> is that what I do know is be. right. What I do know is for my um, for my life though. What I okay. So what was I thinking about today? What were you thinking um, about? Preparation. Oh, okay. Prep um pre um preparation be. Being pre being prepared, mm -hmm. um, being being prepared while being prepared while you're in the midst of a middle a middle space or a mid or a middle season, mm -hmm. because sometimes I think I think we we prepare when we know that we're going to be on, mm -hmm. and then in the in those middle spaces mm -hmm. we tend to not allow ourselves to be as prepared mm -hmm. as we could be. So it's so it's, so it's like okay when something happens or something drops, mm -hmm. we're always in a in a in a space of a catch up mm -hmm. rather than be like okay I'm ready I'm 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 already ready ready mm -hmm. so um. So um, I, I think um, in, in between certain shows for me, I think I kind of like I've, I've been in a space where and I'm sorry, and I'm sorry if anybody be like, because I know some people could be, be, be tired of me talking about these shows, but I, but I, but it's but it's a, oh. it's, it's, a, it's a new space for me. Mm -hmm. So I'm always getting new things mm -hmm. um, concerning it. But it's like in between shows, it's like you kind of let yourself go. Mm -hmm. It's like okay, I'm gonna eat. It's I'm gonna eat everything that I like. I'm gonna <laughs> eat everything that I want. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna drink everything that um every everything that I want. Um, but when you were in the middle of the um the the space and preparing for the show, you mm -hmm. you make sure you was take care of yourself. You make sure that you exercise. You make sure that you walk. You make sure that you drink water all the mm -hmm. time. You make sure that you watch what you ate because you always want to be prepared for what you need to be prepared for. And the problem is, is that I realized, I realized that in, in a lot of cases, I do that for a lot of things in my life, not just for shows. Oh, okay. That, um, and, um, and I find myself on a, in, behind the eight ball because I'm now trying to prepare 
for something that I should have already been prepared for. Wow. That the middle space that you're in is just as important as when you finally get that call or you finally get that yes or you finally get that thing that you've been waiting on mm -hmm. because because the training that you do in the middle prepares you for the um the thing that you're going to be doing um um at at some point so consider yourself already chosen before you get chosen nice sounds like some of the uh, that conversation that dad was having last night about divine disciplines mm -hmm. right yeah and so it's always a space and all of us are guilty of it at some point or another. It's like, listen, give me my cheat day. Give me my sweets day. You know, my thing is right. sweets. I'll eat sweets before I eat protein. It's terrible, but it's true. And so I'm feeling you on that. Yeah. And working the discipline spaces for me right now is looking different on the other ends, trying to manage some time. So mm -hmm. I'm encouraged by that. Staying ready. Staying ready. So you'll have to get ready. Yes. Stay ready. The other thing that um, I was thinking about, and it just leads into my life thought, is that we are really praying for, I don't know if anybody's been seeing the the um, the collapse of the bridge in, ba in Baltimore. Mm -hmm. um, just really a weird thing to kind of get up and see that. You almost think that it's surreal. So, you know, number one, we're praying for the city and the surrounding area and how one little thing or really one huge thing can be so impactful on a larger scale because now right b is terrible now the news is just kind of reflecting on how important that bridge was but people don't really think about that bridge they said that it wasn't necessarily heavily traveled but it was a bypass bridge for individuals who get to work early mm -hmm. um and so now that i'm seeing it i watched how the boat hit it I watched how the bridge collapsed. I could see the cars on there, but it didn't seem like there were cars on there when the collapse happened. So I was like, okay, well, maybe some people got, you know, just didn't hit that space, but obviously some people did. And then you think it's just the bridge, but my goodness, the impact yeah. now mm -hmm. to the economy, because that's a major port and people are now paying attention to, okay, what is this going to mean? How far is it going to take the truck drivers out of their normal flow? It's going to take um, things longer to get to people, all of those kinds of things. And so you never know one decision, one mishap, one perfect decision, one bad decision. Right. It can really impact a lot of things that we're not thinking about, which is one of the reasons why um, this conversation today is is I think it's going to be important. It's going to be good. Kara's on tonight too. Hey, Kay. Kara. And was, yeah, and she was here. It, it is something the way. It is something about the way you say Kara. Do it again. Kara. <laughs> I don't know why you say it like that, but it is so catchy, right? She was in fellowship with us on Sunday, and so some of this may be repetitive, but it will it, it will be expanded. So hang in there with me. I was thinking about Kay when I saw the bridge collapse. Because just Sunday, we were talking about going down to the Keys and taking that long bridge. Right. And, you know, for Kara, that was a little sketchy. And here we go. Now the bridge falls. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, she ain't ever getting on a bridge now. Good Lord. She is never getting on a bridge. Pray for us. Pray for us. Michael Brown, I see you. God bless you. Thank hey. you for joining us. Right. For all of you who are just kicking in, um, joining in, tapping in. Thank you for joining us. OK, listen, I want to start this. The power of balance. The power of balance. You know what? Let me get feedback from you first before we um, pull up the slides. How did what did you think about um, those pieces of the teaching? Do you remember? How did you feel about That's those pieces of the teaching? Because uh, we had we had guests, we had friends that came and it expanded the conversation. And we had a lot of things that were really good about that experience. But what stood out to you? I think I, it, it, it took on it took on so many um, um, parts and, mm -hmm. um, and it was it was so many moving parts to it. Mm -hmm. But I think the um, I think there was a, there was a space that you hit when it talked about balance and talk about how the worlds were framed. Mm -hmm. And how um and how we have to real how, how we have to realize that when we when we talk about the worlds, worlds in all actuality are systems. Mm -hmm. Um so um so we so when we talk about world, we're talking we're talking about systems. So so it's not just about the planets that you see or that um that you see or you or you said that kind of um kind of surround surrounding our um in our um 
um, solar system. Mm -hmm. But um, but when we talk about worlds, we're talking about systems. We're talking about us. Mm -hmm. That in, and you spoke about it yesterday that we are in ourselves a world. Yeah. In everything in um in everything in us, whether whether you feel like it's big or small, that there you are you are a walking world. Mm -hmm. You are a walking ecosystem, and you have people inside of your world mm -hmm. that are affected by um by you mm -hmm. um by you by um by your thought process and and how you handle yourself and how you handle other other things. Mm -hmm. So um so it's important for you as a as a holder of a world or a world system mm -hmm. for you to be able to have an effective balance of who you are. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. And we're going to yeah. hit some of that today because I think yeah. last night we were talking about it more after we come home, we start to decompress or, you know, talk about whomever is sharing or speaking and what the highlights were for us. So let me just put this, um, let me put these slides up and then we'll walk through them. And again, let your fingers do the talking for our individuals who are with us on the, through the website side. We are grateful that you are on. One of our former forum partners is on. Mm. Um, and so if you get highlights and feedbacks that you want to share on screen, we will get to that part. So mm. stay ready. Look, stay ready. Right. Stay ready. Stay, <laughs> stay ready for that so that we can mm. see what we'll look like with that. So let me pull this up and... I also appreciate the fact that you um that 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 we're touching on us being us being um responsible um not just for ourselves but um but others mm -hmm. and people in people in our um in our spaces because um have are we in a space to, season where we are really where we where we tend to be focused on us yes mm -hmm. I don't think it's something it's I don't think it's anything wrong with that I, I'll always say there's nothing wrong with that mm -hmm. um because because I feel like we need we, we needed to shift hard in that direction we needed a hard reset back in that direction right because we've been so in the thing of us being mindful of everybody else that we forget ourselves yes but um but 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 now that we're in that hard reset it's now time for us to balance ourselves out mm -hmm. because now once you get yourself together you have to understand the responsibility of of self mm -hmm. and what that means for you and mm -hmm. um being able to manage and be responsible for others in mm -hmm. your space yeah i think that that's one of the pieces that blessed me a lot too because we we are bipolar yeah we're either all the way on this side and all, all the, the way, way on that way. side right. so we're swinging in this pendulum of um this extreme versus this extreme and by the yeah. time we land in the middle we recognize then that we've lost a lot of pieces yeah and i think that this conversation um that we started on sunday that was really kind of stirring in my heart from saturday night really became a bigger blessing to me than i even realized so we've got the slides up here if everybody can see it type yes type yes wherever you are we just want to see you Type yes wherever you are. I see the slides. I see the slides. You should see the power of balance, right? I see the slides. Just type yes for me. We want to make sure that you can see them. It's clear. If you're listening, that's cool. Let us know that you're listening and you'll be away from your computer or your phone. But if you can see the slides, we just want to make sure that we got you. We got you, right? Yes, I see them. Yes, I see them. Yes, I see them. We're waiting for you. Yes, and while we're waiting, please like and subscribe um, to um, to all of our channels. Yes, um, it, it yes. will be beneficial to our algorithms. And um, and please, if you're on YouTube specifically, please go ahead and um, like and subscribe. And on your right, you will see that um, bell. If you can click that bell, you will be um, able to see all of our notifications whenever we go live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna record that so that that can just be in the announcements. <laughs> okay. Yes. yes. The power of balance. Balance. What is it? You see that? Um, that definition. And just gonna walk through some stuff real quickly here so that you can um know where we were on Sunday and then pick up some pieces. And then I'm going to we'll talk about some of the things that we heard from some of our audience individuals as well. As well. Oh, brother-in-law is on. Hey, we see you. Hey, Kyrie. It's another Thomas. Yes, yes. <laughs> Grateful to have you. Balance, what is it? An even distribution of weight. Yeah. Okay, so balance is an even distribution of weight, enabling someone or something to remain upright and steady. And so when you are unbalanced, right? And that can be physically, emotionally, mentally, whatever that imbalance or that unbalance is, you will start to carry weight. And sometimes it manifests itself 
physically in person yeah. where people can't, where people can see it, but you will feel it. You'll start to feel out of balance. Mm -hmm. Right. And so balance is important. People talk about balancing. People talk about centering. I just want to highlight the balance piece tonight um, because the balance that we are seeing here is really the balance that God, according to the biblical scriptures, displays in what he does. And I want to show you how you fit into the scheme of all of that. OK, mm -hmm. The idea of balance can be interpreted from a person's experience of internal unrest. So when I'm at an unrest, I'm not happy. I don't like how things are going. And so sometimes we try to, we think we will provide balance or we think we know what it takes to bring balance to what is the internal in unrest in us. Mm -hmm. But sometimes we don't. Right. Because we only see balance in two dimensional spaces. It's either this or it's either this. But can I tell you that balance requires a four-prong experience versus just a two-edge experience? You mm. ever look at the um, what do they call it in the house when the builders are building and they 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 build on a foundational beam, right? And the foundational beam, there's one beam, but there's a cross beam yeah. that carries that helps to carry that other beam's weight. Mm. And that's a four expanded space. It's not just two. So sometimes as people, we only think bipolarity mm. or dimension die two dimensionally. We only think right side or left side, but there are so many different sides to the experience of us. Yeah that I think that we miss. And so even when we're trying to, okay, I just want to balance this load on this side, you will be trying to incorporate things on this side that can't carry what is going on on this side. So sometimes when you're judging what is taking place in you and there is an unrest, you have to consider all of the spaces mm -hmm. that you have to handle or that encompass you, not just two sides. Yeah. Right. So that's important. So consider you are more than just your personal dimensional self. You are more than just two sides of you. You are more than just black or white. Mm -hmm. You are more than just right or left. You are more than just this or that. You are a plethora of things in the middle of all of that. And all of those spaces will require intentional work in order to provide a sustainable balance. Yeah. Right. So even when we talk in the mental health field about the dimensions of wellness, there are eight domains that we speak to in order to help create wellness in an individual's life. And sometimes people spend more time on the more acceptable domains, mm -hmm. social, educational, financial, spiritual, um, you know, relational, but there are three other domains and I forget the names right now. I know it's a total of eight that people kind of miss that impact the rest of that wheel, mm -hmm. right? And so pay attention to what I'm saying to you because it'll be important as you see the grand scheme of things, right? You've got to also recognize that all things exist in connection to all things. Yeah, All things exist in connection to all things. Remember that I said that again, all things exist in connection to all things. That's going to be important because you're going to recognize that you just do not exist on your own island. There are dimensions that spring forth out of you. Sometimes we just focus on what springs forth through us, our children, our parents, their parents. We just think about that generational line, but there is an expression that spikes out of us as well that we are all connected to. All things exist in connection to all things. Mm. So let's see, universal balance, okay? want you all to see that we're at the space where we're talking about universal balance and John 1, 1 and 4. And I want to talk to you from this perspective of how the scriptures and how we say God has displayed that, this thing for universal balance. We're seeing the universe, which is much bigger than us, 
but we don't see all of the pieces of the universe, but we expect it to be there just based off of science, right? Mm -hmm. And so that's one of my questions, babe, because as much as we believe that we live in a universe, in an existence that we can't see, but has definitely been created or is experience outside of us, I don't know why we are so limited in our belief about science. Mm. What do you think that is? Because there's no way that we could act like the universe is non-existent. Right. Especially as religious people, oftentimes we rest in what we know about the creation, but there is still yet more about that experience that we can't identify that the domain of science speaks to, and it is intelligent about it speaking to it. It may not always be consistent with what we feel we believe, mm -hmm. but there are some spaces that we can't identify because we haven't been there, right? Right. Well, well, the problem, well, not, well, yeah, the problem is, is that we kind of tend to kind of lay in or lean into our um, level of belief systems. Uh -huh. um, our belief system, um, and what happens is when we, when we lean into our belief systems, it doesn't necessarily give room or space all the time for the actual factual things to actually um, take, um, make room, um, we don't make room for those things. Right. So when so when we believe these things all of our life and we've been indoctrinated and um and and it's pretty much been um been taught to us um since 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 we've been um growing mm -hmm. science comes and says that says that research research um shows that this is how how this happened mm -hmm. we immediately uh, we immediately say no that's not true right. because it's because because this is what the B I B L E says. Mm -hmm. The problem is the, the problem is with that all always is that we have we, we have a lack of balance because when there's things in science that prove mm -hmm. prove our biblical beliefs, yes. we immediately say science has done their job. Yes. But when there's things that science says that some of this might not be accurate, we immediately say science is the devil. Mm -hmm. So there's no so there's no balance with it be, um, because because either either science is doing its job or not. Right. Right, I agree with you. And God is not out of, and God is not outside of science. Yes, God, God is not outside of science. If he, if if God, if God is anything, he is science. Mm -hmm. He just is. He just is. Right. He's all of those things. He's all of those pieces. And that's why I think I love John one one through four. And I'm gonna read it. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Y'all mm -hmm. see that, right? He was with God in the beginning. He was, he's talking about the Christ conscious space, yeah. right? He was with God in the beginning. Through him, all things were what? Made. All things were made through him, right? Without him, nothing was made that has been made. Yeah. In him was life. And that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness. I mm -hmm. love this part particularly because it says, and the darkness has not overcome it. Right. The darkness was never intended to overcome it. Darkness and light actually work together when you really pay attention. Mm -hmm. All things were made. Universal balance. He right. made all things. Are we clear on that? Mm -hmm. God he made all things. You need to recite that to yourself. He made, he made all, things. all things, all domains, all systems, all structures, all universal dimensions, all Milky Ways, all of those spaces, yes. however many universes we have. If we've got Martians on another um, plateau or another plane, we have no reference outside of God, universal order, being in position to make all of those things exist. Yeah. He made all things. So everybody's clear about that, right? Mm -hmm. He made all things. So that's universal balance. Let's start here, right? I'm moving slides. Now we look at that planetary experience, right? This is intentional framing. And I wanna, I wanna read this out of Hebrews 11, one and three, mm -hmm. okay? It says, now faith is assurance, title deed, confirmation of things hoped for, divinely guaranteed, and the evidence of things not seen, the conviction of their reality. Okay, faith comprehends as fact what cannot be experienced by the physical senses. For by this kind of faith, the men of old gain divine approval. But here's where this really gets good, right? It says by faith, that is what an inherent trust and enduring confidence in the power, wisdom, and goodness of God. We understand 
Mm. Highlight this, okay? We understand that the worlds, yeah. when it reflects the worlds, the universe, and the ages, ages yeah. were framed and created, formed, put in order, and equipped for their intended purpose yeah. by the word of God, so that what is seen was not made out of things which are visible. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, we understand that he framed all things, and then watch this, he tethered all those things together. But that is so accurate because because even because even when you spoke, we talk about framing all things that are being tethered together. Mm -hmm. How how are how even um, the system of of what allows us to have effective um, atmospheres of living, mm -hmm. even on this earth, mm -hmm. is so is so strategic. Right. Um, um, that that we have a perfect distance. Um, between the earth and the sun there's a perfect distance between the earth and the moon yeah. there's a perfect there, 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 there's a perfect portion of certain things in our atmosphere that creates that that, that creates our ability to be able to breathe effectively mm -hmm. um, um in um in our atmosphere yes those th um those things are perfectly those things are all tethered together yes. in order for us to have a proper system that we can exist in this um in this earth space yes I think that that's profound because I think sometimes we do not even the planets in themselves. Yes, the planet, the, the planets, Mars, um, yes. Uranus. Uh -huh. so, so you get into right. You get into my that's my the space, space, right? Um, <laughs> Jupiter. Yeah. Um, Jupiter. All of those planets are effect are effectively um in place and and um and in shape and and um and, and they're and they're in proper order for mm -hmm. us to be able to prop properly live. Jupiter in itself is the largest planet in the solar system. Yes. So Jupiter, with the as the largest planet, it has the most, it has some of the most because of its gravitational pull, mm -hmm. has the most moons. Mm -hmm. It effectively, it effectively dodges and and shields us from oncoming meteors and asteroids. Yeah. It um it, it literally it literally protects us and and so it's um almost like it's amazing. You have to do your research. It's absolutely amazing mm -hmm. how God has just been able to shape. And to fashion mm -hmm. and to and to tether all of these things together. We don't feel like they're tethered together to us. Yes. But they affect our living. Yes. All of it. Planetary constellations, the movement of those particular um of, of those planets impact how the earth experiences um their agriculture, their water systems, mm -hmm. all of those different things, the movement of the sun, the movement of the moon. Yeah. There are things that we probably in many regards take for granted because mm -hmm. we just know that they rise yeah. and we know that they go down or yes. actually they don't rise and go down. They just kind of move around each yes. other. Mm -hmm. And we just assume that the sun is going down or the moon is going to reveal mm -hmm. itself, but it's always in mm -hmm. position ready to provide light. It's just the sun takes a different approach or takes a different position in order to make sure that the earth, which is well positioned, mm -hmm. might I add, because yes. it has to be protected in a way that doesn't allow for what you just spoke. Mm -hmm. So that understanding, why are we spending time talking about science, right? Because God made all things. Yeah. That's the first statement. I want you to really recognize that. He made all things. And then from this scripture, you understand the principle of this idea. I believe that the Bible is a full book of principles, stories, allegories, information that we can use that helps us to develop our understanding that is far beyond just what we're experiencing, right? Mm -hmm. He made all things and then he put them in position yeah. and then said, you will stay connected to each other. Yeah. What happens with you will impact you. Ooh. What happens in the universe will happen or impact the earth. Ooh. There are things that we're trying to avoid in the order of things. And watch this. You've got to understand that you are also tethered you were framed if there was a picture frame yeah. set up somewhere right you would be in god's frame put in a position because you are a word that god intends to develop and to nurture and to make make sense in the earth and so you got to consider that while i am thinking about the things that are going on in my life alone while i'm just handling that there is a greater connection that is connected to me and beyond me and through me that I may not appreciate, but tonight 
And after Sunday, I really want to help you consider that you are more than what you think you are. Yeah. Go. Um, no, because I, because I, because I, because I, I can stay here, bro. Because, because, I, because we also did, because, because in my mind, I'm thinking. I, I thought in my head, I'm like, because all of, because for, for a lot of people, all of these things should be like, okay, we're talking about all of these things. We talk about planets and whatever like that mm -hmm. and, 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 and all this strange stuff. Strange. What does this have to do with the fact? What does this have to do with me? Yeah. And we, and, and we, and, and because we find, because we find ourselves or look at ourselves in such a simplistic way. Yes. Um, and it's, and, 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 and in some ways that's okay. But you, but 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 you remove yourself from this system. Yeah, and that's and, and and that's our problem. We have removed ourselves because because of because of because all of these heavenly bodies and all of these things. We remove ourselves from these systems, mm -hmm. and we say, "Well, what does this have to do with me?" Mm -hmm. But it has a lot to do with you mm -hmm. because you need to understand how tethered you are to these systems. Do you realize that most of your body is water? Yes. And what affects water? The moon. Uh -huh. And when the and, and, <laughs> Come through, sir. And Come on. And 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 you don't think that ish that that things with the moon or or the different phases of the moon can of can um can affect you. But mm -hmm. now we're trying to figure out why people act crazy during the full moon. Absolutely. Why 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 because why because because the because something happens the the um the it, it affects water it it affects the um the mag the magnetic pull mm -hmm. of 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 water in mm -hmm. systems. That's why when people start acting crazy during the full moon, they call them a lunatic. Yes. Come on. Because 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 there's something that's happening with the moon that's affecting people's psyche. And mm -hmm. it, that's how tethered you are yes. to this yes. to this universe. Yes. That's how tethered you are mm -hmm. to this world. And you have to and you have to stop and you need to really sit mm -hmm. and really properly allow yourself um to, to understand how connected you are to these systems and the reason why you need to allow yourself to be ve to be very understanding about you being connected to these systems because it starts to expand your mind in how you live yes. how you handle yourself yes. how you handle your children yes. how you handle your neighborhoods yes. how you handle what you do throughout the day when you realize that everything that you see mm -hmm. has somewhat of a connection yes. um, of so uh, uh, um, um, to you and everything surrounding you mm -hmm. you are a part of this great network that God has tethered together, Absolutely. whether you like it or not. Yes. And it's important for us to see that it's not just about um, 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 how to pay your rent and all your money spent. Yes. We've allowed ourselves to be so focused on trivial things mm -hmm. when God is calling us and really pulling us mm -hmm. to allow our minds to think higher because when we allow our minds to think higher, mm -hmm. God allows us to be able to see certain things as trivial if we allow ourselves to be extremely set, locked in, mm -hmm. locked in mm -hmm. to what, who and what we really are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking last night because that's such a good statement, right? When we was um, yes. sitting in the room and talking about, I said, you, and I asked um, my husband a question. I said, what if the Big Bang was really God's voice sounding like, and you, you started to expand on it because science defines it as Big Bang, the Big Bang Theory. Right. And that's the study in, in school systems, right? And we were so against that whole experience. But what if, because we don't really know the voice of God, we right. know God's voice through our formed and framed voice. But what does God's voice sound like in a universal construct that is multi-universal? It may sound like a loud noise. It could sound like a huge collision. Give us more of that because that was so good last night when you talked yes, about it. Yes, it's, it's vibration and frequency. Yeah. Listen, and, and let, let me tell you something because, because, because the church the church hates those words because it sounds very out there and very Star Trek-y. But you gotta under, but you gotta understand that our entire that our our world. But, but yes. before I go even even into the outer planes, um, <laughs> let's let's talk you as a you as an individual. Matter of, no, let me no. Let me go, let me go up here. The planets, uh -huh. the um, the um, the atmosphere, the sun, the moon, all of these heavenly bodies function on vibration and frequency. Yes. There's no sound in space because <laughs> there's 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 no sound in space because because there's not there's not enough mm -hmm. um 
particles in the air to catch the sound. Wow. So, 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 wow. so if, so if you yell out in space, for example, you won't be able to hear anything because there's not enough water particles in the air that grab the sound. So, and, 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 and vibrate and vibrate that frequency through it. Mm -hmm. But the planets in themselves have a vibration. Everything moves and everything shakes. Mm -hmm. And, um, and there's a vibration and there's a frequency mm -hmm. that, um, um, that, that reverberate throughout, throughout the universe. Mm -hmm. Now let's trick, let's, tr let's trickle down to our atmosphere. All of our atmospheres rely on vibration and frequency. Everything is moving. Let's go down to the plants. There's a vibration in yeah. plants. Mm -hmm. That's why plants, if you, they say, if you speak, if, if you speak to plants, they think that plants have ears. Mm -hmm. The plants don't necessarily Necessarily have ears, but they can hear vibration. They yeah. can hear frequent. They, they they can feel frequency. That's why when you speak to plants, if you speak positively to plants, they yeah. actually they actually. They, they actually, actually are affected yeah. by your positive and negative frequency. Yeah. Animals, I got a dog. Anybody that got dogs under understand. Dogs don't under don't necessarily understand what you say, mm -hmm. but they understand the vibration or they understand the frequency of how you say it. Mm -hmm. So if you so so if I talk to Teddy our dog and he and, and I start speak I, if, if I if I say you you a dumb dog. He's not he, he don't he don't hear me saying he's a dumb dog, he's a dumb dog, but he hears my, the frequency of my voice. Mm -hmm. He 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 sees that that okay, this is a deep voice, so he's angry with me. That's why dogs, yeah. for example, mm -hmm. are more prone to be to um to to uh, pay attention to women and children because they have higher frequency voices. I didn't know that. Yes, that's why. <laughs> so so now let's take you for example. You are you have you you in your own self have a vibration and a frequency. Yes. Your body, um, your body vibrates. Your body has frequency. Yes. If you don't, um, if, 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 if you don't, if you don't know already, you're trying to figure out why things are happening or why things are not happening. Yeah. It's because the atmosphere is proper, is properly um, connecting to the frequency or the vibration that you're not sharing. Mm -hmm. So you can open up your mouth and say whatever you want. You can mm -hmm. pray for whatever you want, but if the vibration or the frequency of what you, of, of what you have, down in the core of your system mm -hmm. is not necessarily um, in line with what you're speaking. Yes. And you're going to get what your frequency is. Yes. Regardless of what you say. Regard, <laughs> regardless, of, regardless of what you say. Yes. So, so, so at the end of the day, all of these, all of these things, now understand these planets have been here for thousands, for, for, for thousands, millennia, mm -hmm. millennia after millennia. Yes. And we're talking about this being new age when this is ancient technology yeah people so dumb this is this is this is ancient i'm sorry because y'all don't got me on my uh, they, they started, this is ancient technology we're talking um the, the words might be new but the system is ancient, ancient. it's 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 millennia it's millennia old mm -hmm. Absolutely. Multi-millennia old. Mm -hmm. But the problem, but the problem is because because of the because of the fact that we've allowed ourselves to be so focused and so honed in on one little on one little thing, or we know one little on one one little verse, we've allowed ourselves to be so locked in to a universal God yeah. that still continually and, yes. and, and, and and from a scientific standpoint, still expanding the universe. Do you yes. realize the universe is still being expanded? Yes. Yes. It's still being expanded. Yes. The limitation the, the limitations are not there. Yes. The universe is, is 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 on gas, all go, no breaks. Always. Yes. Absolutely. So how do we allow ourselves to be so locked in? Mm -hmm. That's the devil. See, see, now now that's satanic system. Yes. Because a satanic system requires you to forget and not acknowledge and not understand who you are and what you, and what you're supposed to be yeah. in the in, um in the fullness of the system that God has created. That's why Adam and Eve were so such, such miraculous people because of the fact that they knew of their tethering, they knew of their connection wow. to the system. Wow. They weren't just connected to the garden, yes. but they were connected to everything that God created. Everything Absolutely. Everything that God created, mm -hmm. they were connected to. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important because this soapbox that you on. I'm sorry. So I'm just, don't be sorry. That's wonderful. Because Yadila is on, on, on the YouTube side. She said, remind, it reminds me of the law of attraction. And it's absolutely correct. Right. And so when people ask, 
Uh, you know, I'm speaking these things. I'm saying these things. Why is it not happening? You did an elegant job talking about that vibrational space that in us, our body has a language yeah. that is speaking something that does not always agree with what we verbalize with our own vocal cords. And as a matter of fact, while you were talking, I said, look at the frequency of the voice, because that's the only thing that we are familiar with. When people can talk, mm -hmm. we are okay because it makes it easier or we think it makes it easier for us to understand. But there is more going on in the behavioral capacity than in any other space because there are things that you will be able to feel people saying. That's yeah. why that whole statement of I feel you in this season yeah. has been so profound mm -hmm. because it is deeper than your word. The vocal cords depend on the coming together in order to make a sound. So when you talk about that whole space of mm -hmm. having enough atomic ability in order to grab the sound and to create the wave, mm -hmm. there is something that is not happening in a lot of people's lives right now mm -hmm. because we're not connected. And because we're not connected, we're not making the wave that we need to or even want to make. Yeah, it's resonance. There, 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 yes. There, there's, 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 yes. A, there's a um, there, there's a term in singing. Uh -huh. There's um, in, 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 a, in a lot of terms, it's it's um, it's it's more so on the um, the the um, classical operatic and even the um, the um, the um, the theater side, yes. uh, um, um, theatrical side of singing, mm -hmm. and they speak a lot about resonance. Yes. Um, they're 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 more prone. They're more prone down the gospel side. We we kind of tend to be more focused on rasp and runs, mm -hmm. um, and um, and then certain tones, yes. But on the flip side, when we start to get to theater and we start to get to classical music and mm -hmm. and things like that, their focus is is not necessarily the tricks that you do, but how you're resonating. Yes. So, um, so, so, so the, um, so the, um, so, so, wow. so I was watching something, um, yesterday yeah. and they was talking about Whitney Houston and, and this is going to fit. They're mm -hmm. talking about Whitney Houston and there was an opera singer that was, that, that, that was, that was talking about her voice yep. and it was, and, and it was like, why do, they was talking about how cla why classical singers it loved mm -hmm. Whitney Houston's voice. Mm -hmm. and, the, and, and, the, and the lady said, because Whitney was able to properly utilize her voice mm -hmm. to, to, to where she was properly able to sit it in a space that it was able to properly resonate. Right. That's why if even if Whitney did hit a bad note, it wasn't bad at all. Yeah. It was wow. she it, it could have been wrong, but she could do no wrong wow. because of the fact of the sound that was coming out of her. Mm -hmm. It reson it um she properly said it to where it could fully resonate properly. Wow. That, that 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 even if it was a mistake, it wasn't a it, um, it wasn't a mistake not to the ears and and, and not to the body because yeah. as the voice resonated out, you could feel it. Mm -hmm. You could feel it because proper resonation vibrates off of the body and, yeah. um, and and it sends signals into the body and that's one thing that we need to understand if you if, even if what you even what you're saying might not necessarily be correct all the time or might or or or, or, or might not be um as flowerly or proper yeah. as long as what's as as long as what is ver 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 reverberating <laughs> come on her reverberating out of you is resonating from a proper and it's seated in a proper space. Yes. What you what, what you said what what you said might not be the best in other people's ears, but it's resonating somewhere. Mm -hmm. You got you got to get your internal self together before yes. we can start speaking things. Mm -hmm. We speak things we, we speak things so much and that's where faith comes in. Yes. Because because when uh when when he when he talked about how God um framed the world by faith. Yeah. Faith is a faith is an internal faith is an internal thing. Mm -hmm. Our worlds are framed not based upon the words that we say, but the vibrational frequency that comes out that comes out of our um, our yeah. systems. Yeah. Our vibration, our frequency creates the systems in systems in our world. Yeah. So you've got to ask yourself in um in the midst of what you're speaking and what you're saying, yeah. what am I actually feeling? Yes, intention. What is uh -huh. right? What, is, yeah. what, is, what? How is how is your spirit mm -hmm. connected? Um, connecting with the voice that's coming out of your mouth. Are you all agreeing? Mm -hmm. Are you all in alignment? Because those dimensions of yourself have got to agree. That's why we don't see power and authority because 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 those. Freak, those frequencies or those dimensions of ourself are not being properly aligned mm -hmm. for yeah. for that sound to properly pass through. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. There's something blocking your sound. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's something blocking your sound. Mm -hmm. And look, and we can we can attribute that to core beliefs. 
what you believe as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. That's a principle. It goes back to Yadi's statement about the law of attraction. As I think it, as mm -hmm. I experience it, I attract it. And that's why things can come to you without words, because you, you don't recognize that the value of words, it sits at a lower level frequency versus mm -hmm. your behavior and your internal intentionality. Mm -hmm. And so when you're looking at other individuals and comparing yourself, you're living at a low level frequency because you would say less. Yes. You would say less if you knew the power of your own behavior and your own intentionality. You would say less and you would allow that yes. that that um that power that emanates from the inside of you really yes. to work for you. Some of us are just talking too much. We're talking, talking too much. Talking too much. <laughs> They're talking too much, right? Talking too much. That's why Jesus, that's why that's why God was able to say he honors his word over his name. Yes. Because um, because of the fact everything that God says yes. comes to pass. It's 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 immediately created. Yes. That's why when we always say that God is always speak God is always speaking, he can't always speak because whatever he speaks is, is um is is created. Yes. It has it has got to be um it, it, it he has got to be sure yes. in what he speaks because once he speaks it's yes. um, um it's it's out there that's yes. why Jesus also said it's not what goes in a man that defiles him but it's what comes out of him yes. because out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks yes. when, um the vibration or the frequency that's coming out of your mouth mm -hmm. is going to be is going to be the thing that's going to let that's going either going to bless you or defile you because it lets us know that's why that's why mm -hmm. rem remember there's people that, that my uh -huh. grand, my grandmother used to always say, keep, "Let folk keep talking. They'll be um, you'll you'll, you'll know where they are." Mm -hmm. Listen, it ain't it ain't about the fact of what they have um, what they're saying uh, beforehand, but you just keep letting them talk. Mm -hmm. Keep letting them talk. At some point, mm -hmm. the truth or the tr or, or the true nature of their vibration or, or frequency mm -hmm. is um is is going to come forward mm -hmm. because it's not what goes in you, but it comes comes, but it's because of what comes out of you yeah. that either blesses you or defile defiles you because what comes out of you is is the true nature yeah. of what's on the inside of you. So you got to be careful with that. Yeah. You could tell he was excited because he started talking real fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it was good. It's good because I think that we, we have a hard time understanding that. But now we're getting ready to expand even that. I want, I hope that in your heart, you could really hear the reference of what it is that we're sharing and how important that you are in the scheme of things. Yes. And this is why. Let me share this next slide with you so that you can see what we're talking about here, right? So he made all things, right? And he tethered them together, yeah. right? So now let's look at the sonship of Christ and what that means for a son of God. Most of us, if not all of us that are looking at this live would suggest that we are sons of God, right? That we believe that we come from this Christ space, this Christ experience, this, this God nature, right? And people will walk around all day talking about their gods this and their gods that. And there's nothing wrong with that. The terminology is in the principles of the scripture. Mm -hmm. You can ascribe to it, but you got to make sure that you understand the capacity of what that actually means, right? So here we are, um, myself in the scheme of things, right? Myself in the, oh, I'm, I'm moving things around because our, when the screen comes up, you got to move all of the stuff so that you can see. Myself in the context of all things, right? So Christ's mind concerns itself with God things, universal and personal, Yeah. right? I'm going to say that again. Christ's mind concerns itself with God things, universal and personal. The reason why this is important is because in Hebrews 10, 1 through 7, it says, for since the law has only a shadow, just a pale representation of the good things to come, mm -hmm. not the very image of those things, it could never, by offering the same sacrifices continually year after year, make perfect those who approach its altars. So what it's talking about is what the Jewish customs would used to allow, atonement, atonement, atonement. Every year there is a season of atonement, and some people still still hold to those sacred um, experiences and some others have moved away from it. I'm not here to talk about what is essential through that or what is not, but here is what the principle of the scripture is saying. It says, for if it were otherwise, would not be sacrifices have stopped being offered for the worshipers having once for all time been cleansed would no longer have a consciousness 
of sin. Mm. But as it is, these continual sacrifices bring a fresh reminder of sin. What I keep in my mind is what I keep on my mind. Yeah. What I keep mm. in my mind is what I keep on my mind. And so I continue to struggle with this sin nature because I'm constantly reminded of sin consciousness. Yes. But as it is, these continual sacrifices bring a fresh reminder of sins to be atoned for year after year. Yeah. For it is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Therefore, when Christ enters into the world, mm. this is what he says. Sacrifice and offering you have not desired. This is Christ in his son nature talking to God. But instead you have prepared a body for me to offer in burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin. You have taken no delight. Then I said, this is Christ saying, behold, I have come to do your will, O God, to fulfill what is written of me in the scroll of the book. Let me pause here for a second mm. because this thing to me opened up a whole can of worms as it related to the dimensionality, that cross-section personality, that universal approach. Oftentimes, babe, we spend a lot of time really focused on our lower level frequency spaces. But Christ, when we talk about being like Christ, this is what being like Christ looks like. Yeah. And let me tell you what I mean when I say that. Being like Christ looks like being a part of a family business that you always know you end up participating in. Yeah. So what God in his position started, there was a need that needed to be filled and Christ offered himself based off of what he knew yeah. God's intention was. So when we talk about trying to find ourselves and trying to understand who we are as it relates to what we're supposed to do in the earth, this is the idea that we should be having, not just for mega millions and all of these other things that come with the riches of living in the earth earth or in America per se, but you got to start understanding that the Christ mind concerns itself with God things. So here's the example. If I am entitled to come into money, then I understand that my assignment requires money. Yeah. Listen, I'm an assignment that will require money. Yeah. And because my assignment, me, my name is an assignment and it requires money in order to be a distributor, then money has to find me without effort because I attract it due to who I am positioned to be in this land. Some yeah. of us are asking for things that our assignment does not require. And then we're depressed because we can't have it, mm -hmm. but we have not recognize that God will not release resources to individuals who don't know themselves because people who don't know themselves will squander the resources that he has given. Look at us now. Mm -hmm. Even in the earth realm, we are squandering water resources. We're squandering land resources because we act as if we're the only individuals that are going to live here. Yeah. And so why would we protect what we don't intend to outlive? Yeah. Christ has a mind for God things. And so he positions himself to offer himself in order to keep the legacy or the generationality of what God intended continuing to move forward. So here's the, here's the statement. The Christ mind sees itself in all things and relating to all things. Right. Because of this understanding, his engagement is not just personal. He was not out to save himself. Sure. See, he was connected to all things, tethered to all things, framed and fit in order to assume a particular position so that he could play his part in the entire scheme of things. It's not just personal. It is dimensional. It's intentional. It's reflective and it's futuristic. That's why I think the Jewish people, listen, they got, they got the skinny on us all day long, right? Because they were a people prepared to think generationally. They think from their forefathers all the way down to six and seven generations. And the principle of the scripture is so important when it shares that. Why? Because if I keep living yeah. as I keep producing, I keep living. We think that's just about babies, but it's about all of the things that come out of us, from us and through us. That's why who we're connected to is important.
That's why what we're connected to is important. That's why we need to understand what we know about what it is our life assignment is. It's not that you're fulfilling it for the rest of the world. You got to understand that your life assignment is about you being fulfilled. And then it bleeds out into fulfillment or an answer to the rest of the earth, the earth's problems. Yeah. You are a problem solver in your manifestation. You were sent to solve something. Yeah. Right. So he can, Christ did, the mind of Christ. He can see himself and expect himself through the ages because he is connected to all of God's things. He's connected to all of it. He's connected to the earth. He's connected to the water. He's connected to the universe. He sees himself cross-sectioning through all things. He is never outside of anything that God created because God created all things. Then God framed all things and then he put in position everything that was supposed to produce something. Mm -hmm. So listen, the more we focus on lower level experiences, the more we are just dealing with the vicissitudes of life. And don't get me wrong, I'm a therapist. I understand that people walk through life and they're walking through hard life right now. And it seems to be getting harder. And one of the reasons, babe, that I believe that things are getting harder right now is because our focus has a tendency to be off when we need to push higher in our frequency level and push higher in our understanding of what these things really mean. So we have been conditioned to be in survival mode. We've been in condition, we've been conditioned to just be surviving the next day. And I understand that trauma does that to us, but if we could get somebody's mind to just be opened up a little bit more to consider the fact that there is something happening at a larger level that is affecting me at this level. And if I don't really understand it, then it's going to affect my children. It's going to affect my family. It's going to affect my siblings. It's going to affect my friendships. All of that is going to be effective when I don't understand what I'm called to do or who I'm called to be. Mm -hmm. Christ had the mind of God. Yeah. So when we talk about being like Jesus, most people just want to be like Jesus in behaviors, but Jesus didn't focus on his behaviors. He focused on God's mind. Yeah. <laughs> When we talk about being the son of God, we've got to focus on God's mind. And sometimes God is not focused on our behaviors. He is focused on the expansion of the universe. And we get caught. We get stuck judging other people's lives, living for other individuals, comparing ourselves to other people, living in low frequency spaces. If I could just keep my legs closed, I'll be all right. Do you not know that God is more interested in what will keep perpetuating his will throughout the ages? And he wants somebody to catch a wind of what my purpose is in him perpetuating his will through the ages. Seasonal things, contextual things, cross-sectional things. We belong in all of this existence, but we don't know it yeah. because what we limit ourselves to, we cannot now be exposed to, or better said, Dr. Daniels used to say it, what you deny, you are denied of. And so when you close yourself off to understanding the wealth and the riches and the expansiveness of God beyond your religion and beyond your everything that you have learned, you will see that God is in everything yeah. because he made all things. He's not scared of anything that he made. We're waging war for God for what? Mm. There's no need. He's not scared of what he created. Oh, uh, I know we want him to be scared. We want to wage a war, but he is not scared of what he created. He created the light and he also created the darkness. He is not scared <laughs> of what he created. So now we get to see ourselves in context. If I want to be like Christ, and everybody says they want to be like Christ, right? What does Christ's example do for us? It keeps my mind on God's things. Yeah. 
And listen, can I help you here? Because we're getting ready to finish this. We'll wrap this up. We'll take questions. If you got some, ask them. We keep our mind on God's things. And let me tell you, God's God's things are not the behaviors of other people. Right. You are not called to manage what God has already handled. Yeah. You are not called to manage nobody else's house. You're not called to manage nobody else's business. You're called to be connected to people because we are tethered together, but you're not called to manage what he's already handled. Mm. Myself in the context of all things. If I'm going to be like Christ, Hebrews is where the excellency of the knowledge of God through the sonship comes to life. Mm. So I'm staying away from this because of what? Mm -hmm. You think that God is scared of darkness, but he created it. He separated it and said, listen, darkness has an assignment as well as light. What are we going to do? He fashioned it. He framed it. Right? So the image of God and the, the image of man and the image of God. Right? When we talk about Christ like Christ nature, being like Christ, representing Christ, he, we are Christ. We are the consciousness of Christ. I'm not talking about Jesus the Christ. I'm talking about the expanded space of Christ and his thinking, his yeah. mindset. I need the mind of Christ, Christ, right? And the mind yeah. of Christ stays on God's things. Yeah. So he's generational. He's organizational. He's dimensional. He's multidimensional. He's related to all things, receptive of all things, and giving to all things. So that means if I was to pull up that um, med surge statement, mm -hmm. that picture where they have in the medical field offices where the hands are extended, the legs are extended, and yeah. in the midst of that circle is a dimension that is going from here, there, and everywhere, mm -hmm. that is what we look like. That's what we should be the expression of. Mm -hmm. So we can't be afraid to cross over systems. Mm -hmm. We can't be afraid to be cross-cultural. Mm -hmm. We can't be afraid to be multidimensional. We can't mm -hmm. be afraid of all of these things and then expect to be like Christ. Mm -hmm. We can't. We focus on never sinning, mm -hmm. but that's the lower level frequency yeah. that we have been created to be submitted to. Yeah. And the longer we stay submitted to that idea, we will always have the mind of sin. Yeah. Oh, listen, I want to I want us to be helped because we are con we are condemning people that should not be condemned. If he made them, let God work that out with them. Yeah. Whatever their them are. We got a lot of pronouns in the um in the profession right now. He he she he they them, she him her, all of that type of stuff and people get confused with all the pronouns, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I say to people all day, listen, if they are a them, a he, a she, whatever they are, guess who made them? He did. He's going to work that out with them. He is probably not even concerned about what this age is going to do when he's got ages of responsibility. He's the ancient of days, the scripture says, right? Mm -hmm. The rock of ages. Yeah. Yeah. Image of man, image of God, Right. The universe will correct or balance itself. We always hear that statement and we're going to finish here. There is no need for anything to struggle against each other. I believe that the tug of war is what gets us in trouble. Oh, I'm right. Oh, you're right. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm that. But it's the tug of war that gets us in trouble because we keep the focus on the dichotomy of right or wrong mm -hmm. versus the reality of the balance needing to be looking a different way. You see the woman, how she is lifting. Unfortunately, you know, the man is bent over and he's getting ready to break his back. <laughs> but the woman uses her whole body yeah. in order to make sure that she can leverage herself in balance. There is no need for anything to struggle against each other. The weight of the balance is what keeps things framed together. Imagine something being knocked out of sorts in the universe. We would feel the effects of it. Yeah. We feel the effects of this bridge being knocked out of sorts. We will feel the effects of it. How can you assume that? The things that impact you, that you can make decisions for yourself that don't impact your sphere. Mm 
Right. And so when we look at the bigger scheme of things, most people would say, and they said it, we talked about it on Sunday. How do I get myself through this space and see it from a bigger plane? And I understood that question because oftentimes we are so inundated with what is going on in our immediate life that we don't see the impact of how, where we are will impact the generations that have come out of us. I believe that the decisions that I'm making now will impact Layla's children yes. and Sabrina's children because there is this influence of what is going on in me yes. that will create something in their mindset that will be regenerative, yes. right? You cannot see just in your immediate circle or you cannot feel like what you experience will only impact you alone. Mm -hmm. It is when we fail to understand our need for all things, our need for all things. And babe, you can speak to this. And their connection that we experience the phenomenon of out of balance. Yeah. We experience the phenomenon, and I call it a phenomenon of out of balance, because for many of us, we can be knocked out of balance if somebody hurt our feelings. Yeah. Because we are not secure in ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's that? Ah! Yeah. And right. And when we talk that truth, people be like, well, dang, that was really that was really cold. But it's true. When we do not do enough work in ourselves to understand our nature yeah. from God as God in God through Christ and taking on the reality of that mindset. Mm -hmm. We we will be knocked off course with everything that offends us. Go. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it's important. It's important for us to understand. Can you move that over for me real quick? Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's important for us. To, mm -hmm. It's important for us to understand our our um, our need for our need for all things mm -hmm. because because we because we rest in us being an island unto ourselves. Mm -hmm. But as I said in a be I said um, earlier, when you realize how necessary all things are mm -hmm. to even what you do on a regular basis, yeah. you'll you'll you'll, under, you'll understand. How connected you are. Before I say any, any any anything else, thank you for thank you all for being on. If you can please like and share <laughs> and um and subscribe. If you're on YouTube as well, mm -hmm. please go ahead and um click that like button. And um and to your right, you'll see a bell. Click that bell for notifications whenever we're live. Yes. Okay, so um so so um so you so you can't fail in understanding your need for all your all things because you are connected to all things, mm -hmm. as we said before. Mm -hmm. So um so so um so so when so in that space mm -hmm. it is important for us to have a, resp a a responsibility of honor and respect yes for um for um for all things for all things other um, things not just other people other things other things other things listen we get the people thing wrong and then we treat animals terribly yeah we treat the land poorly other things as a matter of fact when you even said that it brought back the whole land assignments teaching because i want to get back to that there's something about our relatability to all things that keeps us in a space of just trying to understand that as soon as we get that lesson we will see maximum fulfillment in a lot of areas yeah. right because sometimes seasons will call for sacrifice mm -hmm. sometimes seasons will call for um expanding sometimes seasons i'm tired of sacrificing I'm, people will say it i'm tired of sacrificing i'm tired of doing this i'm tired of feeling this way and i get it right all of those things are a part of our development if you live long enough they're not expected to be your portion for the rest of your life it's only an assignment in the lesson that you need to get and learn the here's the thing learn the lesson mm -hmm. it, 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 this it, it, it reminds me it reminds me of Layla's um Layla's system mm -hmm. um that um, that she works with adapted minds uh -huh. because because when 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 um our, our daughter our daughter is homeschooled so she so she um so she works this system um especially specifically for math called adapted minds so mm -hmm. what it does is it literally adapts to um to the um to how she is um Lord Jesus. What learning? Um, her um her um her learning. It mm -hmm. um it, it 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 shows what she's getting right and then what she's getting wrong and then it starts to adapt the system and um in having and 
um, in seeing what she needs to continue mm -hmm. and what she doesn't. Mm -hmm. So whatever she gets wrong, they'll go ahead and re-rehearse mm -hmm. um, the system back to that space yeah. um, in order for her to learn the lesson again. Yeah. We got to a, we got to a situation um, previously to um, to where she hit she hit a pocket mm -hmm. where uh, where she was getting a lot more wrong than she was getting right. So what did the system do? Usually the system um, the the um, she does about twenty to thirty minutes. Um, a day because if the, because if you get enough right, it's like okay, you've learned it, um, you're done for the day. Now we can move on to the next thing, and it'll be prepared for um for tomorrow. Yeah. But now she's gonna hit a pocket to where she um she got more wrong than she did right. So what's so what's happening? The system is now re-rehearsing mm -hmm. what she needs to relearn, and now instead of thirty minutes, it's now requiring her to do an hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's because of the fact that it's trying to it's trying to teach her what she missed the last time before. Mm -hmm. And that's what happens with a lot of us um, in our life. Mm -hmm. the, the universe or God is trying to literally, literally teach us what we missed mm -hmm. the, um, the, the last um, the last time. If you want to if if you want to move forward faster, you got to get the lesson. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You gotta get the you you gotta you gotta you gotta get the lesson yeah. because because there is much needed information in Absolutely. the lesson. Yes. He wouldn't be a good father if he allowed you to move forward, yes. um, not not having an understanding or or, or clear um thought um in what on what's gonna be what's gonna happen next. So yes. what does he do in him being a good father? He allows you to rehearse it in order for you to master it. Yes, in order for you to move to, to properly move forward. Yes, you have. You've got to be in a space to where you, to to where you honor things, honor people, mm -hmm. honor um honor systems, honor honor life ways, mm -hmm. and once and once you do that and you grab a hold to those lessons that they're that that they're teaching, mm -hmm. you'll be able to move quicker and faster in your life in your life work. Right, I love that because I think that we miss those pieces in the dimensions of how we see God, how we see Christ, how we see us, mm -hmm. and we the sectioning off of all of these things and all of the things that we highlight as inconsistent for us or consistent for someone else we're spending too much time majoring in the minors where yeah. there are bigger things that are that need to go on so even Christ in his nature as he was sent he needed to be prepared to not get lost in the shuffle yeah he had to be prepared for it because he had to do a work in 33 years yeah <laughs> and so what are we missing because we get lost in the shuffle mm -hmm. and I'm not saying that your life is going to be cut off at 33 years but there are certain spaces for many of us we can register and recognize that there are spaces that have been recycling now for all of us we probably had to learn lessons several times over so let me help you it's not just a one dimensional lesson though yeah. if you really pay attention to your life it is a dimensional multi-dimensional Lesson. God is not trying to just recycle lessons in your life, or rather, the angel of the Lord called life is not just trying to recycle lessons in your life, it's trying to expand you. That's why this teaching is particularly important because we've got to get out of the mindset of just dimensionality and understand the expanding ability that God wants us to see cross sectionality throughout the ages. We have access to information by way of the Holy Spirit that we do not tap into. Right. right. And so when Yadi is asking on YouTube, she said, you know what? We've also been conditioned to not ask questions. The reason why that is so important is because the discovery nature of God in us is almost immediately stifled in us when we're born yeah. because we're not, we're not used to being able to cultivate um, creativity or um, the risk-taking behavior. We always talk about risque things, mm -hmm. but we never talk about that ingenuity that causes us to question and to learn and to discover that piece is automatically seemingly turned off in us. And then it's hard for adults to now feel safe in trying to discover something mm -hmm. about themselves because now they're insecure with themselves. Right. But the discovery is important. Yeah. The discovery leads us, the questions lead us into spaces. We're trying to hem up or or, or settle somebody's experience because they, we don't want them to go in the wrong direction. And I understand that because I'm a parent. But what happens if you don't allow mm -hmm. 
God to be who he is everywhere mm -hmm. and watch a scenario play itself out. What would that do? Life is going to be a teacher of lessons that people may not be able to teach to us. You know what? The, the, what, you, what you saying that made me um, have a question mm -hmm. or or a thought mm -hmm. because 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 when because when we're when we're born, we talk about us being born and us um, we immediately are acclimated into the system that we're born in. Yes. And the question and the, and the question came up to me is. Uh, because because I thought about well we we get acclimated to the system because and, and I think you said something about um being the um us um us being acclimated in order to um to go in the right direction. Yes. Well what if the system that we were born in is the wrong direction? <laughs> <laughs> what if what if, what if, what if, what if, what if the people what if the people mm -hmm. that are teaching us have been acclimated in living in a completely wrong mm -hmm. system mm -hmm. but it's but it's the normal system yes. but it's completely wrong it's acceptable right which is why i think that right now many people are walking through deconstruction mm -hmm. not just of religion but of core belief systems that allow them to really kind of uncover so that they can rediscover mm -hmm. okay so what what does god mean by this why did god give me this gift and now i've got to keep it under wraps mm -hmm. why did he give it to me this way mm -hmm. if he made all things and then he tethered all things together. Yeah. Then what was his thinking when this was given to me before I was even a human being, yeah. right? And so people have to have the ability to discover where they, what their existence means. And to me, there's no wrong way to do that. Mm -hmm. I understand that people will feel like, okay, well, if you don't keep them in a straight and narrow way, well, what may be straight for you may not be straight for me. It may have to be unorthodox for different reasons, which is why we've got to be careful in judging somebody's experience. Yeah. However, here, and if you need to qualify that, the scriptures in principle talk about God being a different God, but the same God to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. There is something about how he relates to them individually because they're not caught all in the same things. They, they have a different walk, but the generationality of what they needed to continue was most important to God. So it didn't have it was, he wasn't concerned about how they got it done. He just made sure that it continued to be done. Jeez, I have a whole bunch of thoughts about that. Listen, I, because we major in minor yeah. spaces and a lot of times people, I want you to walk away from listening to this. I don't care if you listen to it today, next week, a year from now. I want you to walk away to, I want you to walk away from this teaching, listening to what I'm saying to you in this moment, because our concerns have even, the even our concerns have been conditioned. Yeah. So that we can keep people in a particular way. That's why our life ways are so important. Communities who can relate, not in consistency, but in diversity are so important. If you intend to be a, a, a shot caller and, and you know, uh, somebody who's going to be making money and doing all kinds of things, you've got to be in the position where you're going to meet diversity intentionally. You're going to have to have the mind of God that thinks of God things. God thinks of justice. God thinks of continuation. He thinks of the ages. He thinks of generations. He thinks down the line. He thinks across the line. He thinks kind of corner of the line. He is thinking in ways that he wants to give us access to, but because we are strictly dimensional and refuse to expand our way of thinking, we are only allowed certain accesses to certain spaces. Mm -hmm. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm finished. It was 830. Yeah, we finished. It's related, right? Oh, see, no, 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 we, hold on, wait a minute. Wait yes. a minute. Because I can because I could go through on this slide right yes, here. You can, but you're not. Not this week. Okay. We are interrelated. The universe was designed. Wait, let me go back. The universe was designed with balance in mind, interrelatedness in mind. This display of interrelated in the earth is a reflection of the things that have been framed within universal order. This ecosystem 
it, it, it gives us, the earth is just, our atmosphere is just the boundary of where we're supposed to land and where we're supposed to live, right? It's just a boundary, a border, if you will, of how we can expand ourselves and release ourselves to do. So in this, the earth, the land, they know how far, oh God, they Girl. know how far they can go, but we don't always know how far we can go. And it's not because we can't break glass ceilings. We don't appreciate the space that we have been placed in in order to be managers of this earth. Right, but that, but right, but that makes so that makes so much sense because again, it's not about polar. Yes, it's about it's about systems and um and systems and is there's more than just north and south. There's north, mm -hmm. east, south, and west. Mm -hmm. Now, um, it's, it's the the earth, the earth just um just doesn't turn, but yes. it tilts. Yes. So it's so um so so it's the it's the it's dimensional. Mm -hmm. Not only does it turn and tilt, but it but it, but it also has. It, it also has several layers yes. um, um, on the inside of it that makes it multi-layered and multi-dimensional. Yes. So, um, so, so all these things I was thinking about, uh -huh. know, but yes. the ones that put the ground breakers are almost always the rule breakers. Always, yes, always, always, Yanni. And yes. the ones not walking in the in the straight line. Always, mm -hmm. always. I think that's why. Jesus, I think it's it's funny that you, um um the way the way Jesus came mm -hmm. because because uh, because. Because God literally had to make Himself a body in yes. order in, in in order for someone to have to to be to effectively yes break the system yes so the so the system maker had to come to be the system breaker yes in order in order for us to um to, to now shift yes. into into another into another system yes and then the scripture says that Christ is the first. Of many brothers, so there had to be more Christ right. to come because God already knows. As human beings, we tend to create systems, mm -hmm. and so 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 Christ or rule breakers mm -hmm. or ground breakers have to come in order to consistently allow us to come. There's 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 ground breakers and rule breakers. There, there's rule breakers who become ground breakers mm -hmm. for every for every season and every generation. Yes, yes. yeah, and I, it would be interesting if we had more. If everybody was groundbreakers in this sense, yeah, because we are left with attempting to break rules because we don't understand that the rules that were made were governed, were 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 released to us to govern certain things. So we don't ascribe to the rules that the universe set in place. Yeah. God set certain things in place and he intended for millions of people to execute their purpose and live out their assignment mm -hmm. because I am. Now, listen, for all of those that are saying, you know what, I'm just living for me, that's fine. I just don't know how far you're going to get with that when you got children, you got a wife, you got family, you got people in your sphere that are impacted by you living for yourself. They're impacted by what your energy would suggest in your living for yourself. Yeah. And I am very conscious of the making sure self-care, self-compassion, self-worth, building that. Why? Because we, specifically us as an African-American culture, if you are African-American or BIPOC, we have been a marginalized community. And so we are swinging from one end to the next. Mm -hmm. My concern for all of us is that we would learn to live in the balance. Mm -hmm. And to really dig deep into the ground and find out what really God is after when we are hearing these conversations or hearing the scriptural inferences that keep us hostage to things that God never intended us to be hostage to. If I'm going to be like Christ, I am thinking God things and God things generational, multidimensional, universal. They are bigger. They are framed. We are, they are framed in a space that is expected to accomplish what it was sent to do. My word, it will not return unto me void. That's the principle, but it will accomplish mm -hmm. that which I please. Jesus yes. was one word. Each planet is another word. Yeah. The universe is a word. You in your humanity, which has been regulated to the earth's atmosphere, you are a word. And you need to consider your context in the entire scheme of things. Yeah. And we stop. We stop. Because <laughs> we could be there for a little bit. Yeah, we could. Yes, this is so good. The power of balance. Balance here. 
We are the reflection of God and his intentionality. And then when we are balanced here or as we are balanced here, we get to cycle around and be balanced in the midst of every other thing. That's why this whole statement of, you know, everybody's hating on me this and doing this. It is a trick of the enemy. If the enemy has got any trick right now, it is isolation. Our idea that makes us believe that we don't need anything or any other person in order to exist in this space is unrealistic. There is a connection that you have to have because you already have it, whether you recognize it or not. There's a connection that you have to have with other things and other people. If I were you, I would start exploring what I'm connected to and why. What purpose? What does it mean? Stop being afraid of being with other people outside of your family and your close friends. What does it mean for Christ in you to be related to cultures and systems? We want to go to nations, but we won't even deal with our own right. nation. Right. No, there is a greater thinking pattern that comes with the Christ mind as a Christ agent. With a Christ mind, I am thinking about God things. We need to challenge ourselves and really think about what are what are God things? Mm -hmm. What are God things? The book of Hebrews talks about the sin being done. And it, it was one and done. It was already settled. So what else do we now think about? Right. <laughs> We, we, we got to get we got to get into a different phase with that. We got to look at that differently. Yeah, because if if we're still just thinking about the sins of people. And the atonement of sin. Then we are in our core beliefs inconsistent because we also say that Jesus was the propitiation of sin. We it can't be both. If we're going to keep sin as the forefront, the lower level frequency, sin conscious idea on people's mind, mm. then how do they expand? How do we expand? How do we fold into the next phase of universal order and expansion? How do we do that? Yeah. Yeah. Questions, thoughts, statements? We did a whole lot. I thought you asked yeah. a question. Right, because I'll be the first part to be like, okay, we late. That questions. Is, that ain't 30 seconds you asking for questions. Yeah, Dila said, you all can continue. No, <laughs> we're going to stop. We're going to stop here. And maybe we might continue that next week because there is this dimensionality. I think that it has to grow and we need to provoke it. Yeah. I think we need to provoke that in others. When people come to us and be like, okay, you know, they're making these statements and we need to provoke them. Go back and think again. Go back and think some more. Why are you thinking like that? Yeah. Is that a God thought? Right. Is that a God mindset? Think of the scriptures and look through this book of Hebrews and look at how Christ represented his understanding. Oh God, of this God, of, of the God idea of God's nature. Who would offer themselves? We would talk about that Sunday, how, how Jesus would offer himself. Today, we would call that suicide. Mm -hmm. He offered himself in order to stay in the scheme of things yeah. and continue what God's will was mm -hmm. and is. Yeah. That's the power of that kind of balance. I know people, and, and if you came on thinking about, yo, I need balance in my life. I need help with that. I hope it helped you Yeah. because sometimes you need to be stretched further away from yourself in order to really ah, be able to see yourself. You ever been just caught up in your mind and you're like, okay, all I can see is this. All I, all I can think about is this. All I can think about is this. And then you take a moment and you step away from the situation and you see it from a circular perspective mm -hmm. and you'd be like dag i didn't even see that when i was thinking about it you know what i was i was just thinking that because i think my 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 um my thought my final thought to um tonight would be more so because i think because i feel like people might think okay y'all just said a lot <laughs> <laughs> i think yeah i've been i've been I'd be like okay y'all just said a lot and uh and i just you know I just, I, I, I was just trying to figure out how can I balance my checkbook. <laughs> Maybe I'm just, you know, I, I, and um, and and here, and here, here's the thing. 
is that that still doesn't negate the reality of the of of um of what was shared. The thing is, is that so the thing is the question would be is where do I start? Mm -hmm. And where do I start? I start here. Mm -hmm. I start here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's yeah, dude, that was a good question. I want you to read that out. As people who have a religious influence in our lives, how can we tell if maybe some of the things we were taught that were wrong are in fact in line with that with what God oh I'm sorry. Okay, let me say it again. As people who have religious influence in our lives, how can we tell if maybe some of the things we were taught that were wrong are in fact in line with with that God with that God thinking aspect. Mm -hmm. Oh, you looking at me. Yeah. I think, um, so to respond to that question, I think that we really need to just really stay in tune with the Holy Spirit. Remember, the principle there is that he would always lead us and guide us into all truth. There are right. things that we know. We don't just hear, but we know. Mm -hmm. We don't just hear, but we know. And so there is a knowing that, we come into understanding, right? Um, living in this internet age, there's a lot of information that is being revealed now that make us understand that a lot of what has been shared with us from a religious perspective, again, it was good, it was well intended, but yeah. it wasn't always true. Yeah. And so when people in this particular age are starting now to dissect those things, people who are staunch on the literary understanding or the literal meaning of things yeah. they'll come to challenge it that's nothing but the devil you know y'all y'all trying to come against the church that's not the idea at all yeah the reality is is that if the principle says that the truth will make you free mm -hmm. why not continue to seek truth yeah yeah and so discovering being in communities um that may help to explore those things without inference or without bias would be my first place to start, mm -hmm. right? I, I would I would be in prayer because I know God leads me. Even if it looks weird to people, I right. know he leads me, yeah. right? So he's going to lead me in the direction of places that um I need to hear and understand without bias what I need to hear mm -hmm. and understand. And then he, the spirit of truth, yeah, will settle that in your spirit. And so people, um, you know, say a lot of times in a lot of different ways, there is only one truth. That's not the truth. There is only one spirit. Yeah. That brings truth to each and everybody's condition. If if there was only one truth then there would not have been a reason for people to make us believe we were less than nothing while another sect of people mm. choosing to serve the same God have no issues with their lower level self-esteem. Yeah. Listen, there were some things that were given to us culturally mm -hmm. that were um, specifically designed to keep us believing that we were nothing mm -hmm. while they lived in another truth. And we're still experiencing it. Oh my goodness. Yes. Today. Let me tell so, you. So, today we are. That's why, that's why in expanded spaces, it's more so um not frowned upon, but it's but but it but it, it becomes controversial because again, like I said um earlier, a lot of these things that we're talking about right now is ancient technology. Mm -hmm. It's not new. Yes. The term the terminology that we've been able that we we've been finally been able to define it as might be new to our ears but this technology has been here it's been it's been here millennia after millennia mm -hmm. it's, it's 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 not made up it's not brand new it's just not the newest thing the thing, thing on the block we just came to the understanding of it mm -hmm. so um so 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 what so what do you do with those principles that 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 were that were taught to us those those who those who did it in pure in pure spaces they could only give us what they knew about yes they could only give us what they could um, they had the capacity to give us. What does that do for us? We 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 take we take what we need and then we move forward in an expanded understanding and an expanded consciousness and um and 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 we we move it forward in a greater level of understanding. And watch this: the same the same the same thing that happened to you, you're going to do to somebody else. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
because as the generations move and mm -hmm. continue to um to evolve, mm -hmm. um those those systems, those frames of thoughts, those realms of reality are going are are going to continuously and consistently um evolve. And um and whether you allow yourself to be stagnant or whether you continue to allow yourself to be um to um to be consistently moving, mm -hmm. it de um de depends on what your answer or what your approach is going to be with um with the newness that's going to come generation after generation. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. We can't be afraid to explore to explore. We are it, it, we we come from him and we're arriving to him and I keep making that statement. We come from him, he's the alpha and then we also arrive to him. He's mm -hmm. the omega. Right. We're walking the journey in the middle and then the end of our existence or the end of our age comes to a space where we will arrive in him. Guess what? You'll never be out of him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you won't. You won't ever be out of him. You will start with him. You will come from him and you will arrive to him. And so the more that we see and understand that space. Yes. Right, because I oh, Florida. Yeah, I'm gonna I, because yeah, that's true. I'm going. I I I I um I came from him. Mm -hmm. Then I um what 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 you say? We came from we him. Came He's from the him. alpha, and we arrived to him. He's the omega. And I and I and I returned and I returned back as him. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, because... <laughs> absolutely. <I> re... <laughs> yes, because that's exactly what Jesus did. Right. We're talking about Christ's mind, right? I returned. That's it. That's yes. exactly what Jesus yes. did. Because I'm breath. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm the breath. I'm the pneuma. I'm the I'm the living, breathing, creative consciousness. Um, consciousness of God. So when I so so when this body dissolves, mm -hmm. I return. I I I return back into the fullness the the fullness of the breath. Mm -hmm. The breath returns back. Right. And so instead of living based on the opinions of people about you, take that energy and really concern yourself with what God's intentionality for me is, and live that out. Yeah. And that comes with. The knowing that, okay, systems may not be for me and that's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> systems will always be against certain things that they don't believe align with certain spaces. That's why there's a lot of revolution going on right now. Don't be alarmed by that. Expect it. That's yeah. what Christ's mind did. Mm -hmm. Right? We we getting out of here. It's 847. Why don't y'all let us talk this long? We're gonna stop. Well, if there are no questions in the private chat, there's no questions on Facebook. Whoever is still observing, we've had some questions on YouTube. Thank you for asking the questions. When you see this video, if you have questions, post your comments. Yeah. We would love to answer them afterwards and give us your promo again so that we can get off yeah. of here. First of all, Kira and Bernice, she asked for thoughts on, in the chat at 844. I did, but I was asking all along. Okay. I was asking earlier. Oh, well, well, no, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm like, I'm like, they, they, they like, no, you got no questions. Oh my gosh. We're not. Yeah. <laughs> They but, I did, Kay, right? Because I'm like, okay. But I asked earlier too, just to kind of see. I was asking earlier. But yes, but yes, maybe um maybe from for next week, um, we can try to figure out we'll try to figure out if we can um we can leave some things, we can leave it, we can leave at least a window or something open mm -hmm. for people to come on. Yeah. Um, uh, whether it's audio or video or whatever like that, come on and um uh, mm -hmm. uh, have comments, questions, um, or whatever like that. We'll see, we'll see how that works. Okay. But um, but thank you, but thank you all for being a part of um of um life form today mm -hmm. um we love we love to have you we love to see you again um life form is every tuesday at 7 p.m um east yes 7 p.m eastern and 4 p.m oh you can make do all the time zones i wasn't gonna do that okay i'm I sorry like okay <laughs> i'm sorry 7 p.m eastern and everybody else in other time zones y'all figure it out <laughs> and um and um if, if you can um if you're on facebook Please like and share. Um, that really helps with our algorithm. If you like what you heard, if you enjoy what you heard, um, it, it allows our algorithm to move and stretch um, to places where other people can um, appreciate what's being given. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe to our channel. We would love for you to stay connected. We have other videos that you guys can watch that um, that um, that are just as powerful. Um, and if you and once you subscribe, you'll see a bell that should 
come on the right side. If you click that bell, you will always be notified when we go live. That was stellar. It was perfect. That was good. Okay. Yeah. Final thoughts and prayer. Um, I think I said my final thoughts. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Let me finish my final thoughts. Um <laughs> that um I was I was I was saying that. Yeah, I know probably a lot of people are trying to figure out, well, where do I begin with all of this information that was just shared? Mm -hmm. um, the first thing is you. Mm -hmm. the first thing is you. You are um, in your world. You are the core. You are the core. You are the center Absolutely. Of, the, of, of that space. Um, so you so you start with yourself. Start with centering yourself. Start 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 to start to center and um, be able to have a clear understanding of knowing who you are and who your God is mm -hmm. and um and um and center in that space. And then and then once and then once you've secured and anchored yourself in that understanding, then start to expand to everything else. As a matter of fact, um, um the funny thing is is that you'll you'll start to do that immediately because you'll start to you'll start to feel another level of awareness. Yes. Good work. When you when 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 you when you start to center and anchor yourself mm -hmm. in um in your God and in your in, in yourself. Yeah. The Holy the, um God, the Holy Spirit and um and and in in your increase uh, will increase that sensitivity in um in everything that you do in everything that you see and you'll realize how connected and how much you uh, you live in a consistent network. Yes. Um that 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 are that is continuously moving, mm -hmm. turning, yeah. tilting. Yeah. Um, in so many in so many ways in so many dimensions. Absolutely. Yeah? Yes. So those are my those are my final thoughts. You got any final thoughts? Nope. I'm done. Okay. All right. So Father, we thank you. We thank you, God, yes. for this opportunity. Thank you, God, for everything that was shared tonight, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, that that we will that we will come to an understanding that this that this um that whatever was taught tonight, God, will will be um will will be um placed in our hearts, God. God, allow us to um to have the opportunity to effectively and to properly break down all of the information that was given so that we can successfully apply it because it's not just about the the um the the information but it's about the application that comes so that we can begin to see the results yeah the results of what was spoken we yeah. were able to see God the fruit of what was spoken yeah God give us the ability and the knowledge and understanding to apply what we have what 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 what, ha what has been shared yeah and God and Father God whatever need God and whatever desire according to your will yeah. is in this space right now God Father Jesus. we ask God thank that you. you give it to them God according to your will yes and Father we thank you yes Father God allow there to be no restlessness nights tonight but let every individual be able to rest yeah um rest effectively in yeah. preparation for tomorrow and the days ahead yes in christ jesus name i pray let every home be not as as they are but allow them to be so much better so much amen amen listen you all have a wonderful night and a wonderful week this is a good week for those that are in christian communities good friday week it is um this is Passion Week is what they call it. So hopefully everybody yes. is celebrating their um, Good Friday experiences. You all enjoy the seven last sayings and all, everything that will come. I got services from uh, like, or like all week, to right? Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, yes. Friday. And Sunday morning at six. Two on Sunday. Yeah. So you all enjoy it. But enjoy. Think about um, Christ and everything that he did beyond the cross. Yes. There's so much more to him than just the cross, right? So consider all of that even as you are celebrating all week. Yeah. We hope to see you next week. You all pray for us and we'll see where we will lead yes. from this space next week. Have a good evening. Good evening. Take care.